Hey, this is Jeffrey Suey, and I don't know about you, but I've gotten asked a certain type of question over and over again since I've been involved in the life coaching profession. I've been asked this question by potential coaching clients, by people interested in becoming a life coach, and by just about anyone who is interested in any facet of the life coaching profession. This question can vary a bit, but it always starts something like this. What's the difference between a life coach and a blank? And you could fill in the blank with therapist or mentor or consultant or some other type of helping professional. See, there are so many different kind of people helping professions that seem like they overlap with coaching, especially in the way that the services are provided, but their roles, goals, and rewards are quite different from each other. One of the main things that differentiate the role of a life coach from other helping professionals is that a life coach strives to take on the role of an equal partner with the client while working towards reaching the client's goals. A life coach does not attempt to fix anything or anyone. A life coach seeks out the greatness that is already within and around a client and helps them to realize it, use it, and become empowered by it. A life coach isn't the answer man or woman and is not the latest advice columnist. A life coach guides the client towards his or her own answers and helps the clients to turn those answers into tangible realities. Now stick around and I'll elaborate a little bit more about how the life coaching profession stands out from the rest of the pack. How is coaching different from consulting? Well, coaching is actually kind of a form of consulting. Consultants want to evaluate a situation to find the problems and then tell their clients how to fix those problems. Now, the coach is a bit different in that the coach stays with the client to help implement the new skills, the changes, the goals, and they really make sure that whatever answers the client comes up with, that those things actually turn into realities like we talked about before. How's coaching different from mentoring or a mentor? Well, mentors want clients to walk in their shoes so that the clients can then duplicate those steps within their own lives. Life coaches want their clients to overcome personal and impersonal life challenges while working towards their goals and remaining accountable until they reach them. Good coaches don't expect their clients to just be like them or do it like they do it. They expect the client to find their own path after considering the options. How is coaching different from therapy? Well, coaching is not therapy. As far as goals are concerned, therapists and other mental health professionals, they want their clients to be healed from past hurts. Coaches don't work on issues or get into the past. We leave that up to the client to know and figure out while we help them move forward and set personal and professional goals that will give them the life that they really want rather than trying to fix the past. How is coaching different from, let's say, sports coaching? Well, coaching actually includes several principles from sports coaching, like teamwork, going after the goal, being your best. But unlike sports coaching, most professional coaching is not competition or win-lose based. We strengthen the client rather than help them beat the other team. It's really a win-win type of scenario and philosophy.
Finally, how is coaching different from just your best friend's advice? Well, a best friend is wonderful to have, but is your best friend a professional who you will trust to advise you on the most important aspects of your life or your business? Chances are you're going to want a best friend and a coach. Another way of thinking about that is coaching is a hybrid relationship. A coach is close enough to care while keeping enough professional distance to serve the client in an unattached fashion. 